The last couple weeks that I haven't been uploading videos to YouTube, I have been extensively researching what the worst game on Steam is, and let me tell you why. Over the last eight months, I've been playing Steam games, some of them good, most of them bad, but I've never taken the time to research and figure out which game is the actual worst on the platform. So today, I'm gonna be revealing my research to you. About 25 minutes into my search, I came across the Hall of Shame. Now, the Hall of Shame is actually all the games on Steam, or in this case, the bottom 100 games on Steam, by rating. This is actually the worst games on the platform, and I'm super, super excited to play these today. No, I'm not. That was that was a lie. That was a complete lie. But I'm going to be downloading the five actual worst games on Steam, and I'm going to be giving my honest feedback of what I think about these polished turds. Let's get started. I'm... Ex yup. Little fun fact, uh, while I was trying to get all these games, Steam went down, so this is my 30th time recording. Like, like actually, like 29 plus one is this one. This sucks. The game at the number five spot is called Command and Conquer 4, and uh, it, it's on sale right now. I got it for a great deal. It's normally $20, but right now, it's only five. Guys, as I've said in my previous videos recently, I am going to be selling out a little bit because it's the Christmas season, so I'd like to take a minute to talk about today's sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by the all-new Elute GG. Now, for those of you who don't know, Elute is a service where you can watch videos or complete quick surveys and get rewarded with points. You can take those points and you can redeem them to some of your favorite sites and services all the way from Bitcoin to Google Play. Do people buy Google Play gift cards? Is that, a, is that a thing? Anyways, to get started is simple. All you have to do is sign in, get greeted by their beautiful Christmas overlay, click on videos or surveys, whatever you're trying to do, pick on the video that you want to watch, watch away, and earn some money. Now, the site literally gives you money just for having these ads open or completing the surveys. I honestly recommend the ads because you don't actually have to watch them. I usually chuck on one of the ads, grab it, and just throw it onto a separate window and go back on with my day. And it's gonna earn you free money while you're playing Minecraft. You know, there's nothing better than, than being in a Minecraft server with your friends while also becoming a millionaire at the same exact time. I'm gonna leave a link in the description where you guys can click and you can make money for yourself. Let me know how it works out for you. And once again, guys, I appreciate the support. Anyways, the number five game on this list and the first one that I'm gonna be playing today is Command and Conquer 4 Tiberian Twilight. Now, looking at the pictures of this on Steam, I'm not really a fan of games like this. It looks like it's a top-down real-time strategy game and these just really aren't my genre. So take everything that I say throughout all of these games with a grain of salt. Now, you know what? Actually, don't don't bother because I always say that. I always say that because, you, I, you know, I want you to try out these games for yourself first, but realistically, these are the actual worst games on Steam. I am not holding back. I actually have to sign up for the EA network to play this. Are you fucking serious? Guys, I, I can see. I see now why this is one of the worst games on Steam. It gives you a key when you start up the game. Like, ready? Watch. So when you start this game up, it gives you a key. This product code is something that you can use to activate the game as a secondary measure, and normally games that have external signups will have this feature. I skipped the login screen so I didn't leak my email, but my name is Real Diddle on here. Like, I made my account, everything is fine, but I go to enter my product registration code, and uh, you click register, and you just get a system error over and over again. And normally when this happens, I just kind of assume that it's an issue with the key provider, because a lot of the games that I play for these videos are randomly obtained, so I don't even know where the keys came from. However, this one I bought directly from Steam, so I'm very curious as to why it doesn't work. My general assumption for the reason this game is so negatively rated is because a lot of people seem to be having a problem where their activation key doesn't work, similar to myself, and I think Saul put it into really good words here. He just said that this game is, uh, uh noisant. <laughs> Fucking noisant. Coming up at the number four spot on this list is Uriel's Chasm. Now, I don't know what's going on with this game. I, it, all, every single one of these screenshots is like a different game, so I'm, I'm not really vibing with what's going on here. I also think it's interesting that it has a psychological horror tag. That's It's a 2D game. I don't know how that really works. <laughs> this game is 74 cents right now, though, so when it does suck as much as I'm expecting it to, it's not the end of the world. Uriel's Chasm. This is uh, this is one for the books, my dudes. This, this seems incredible. The graphics are next generation. <laughs> Look at this dude's face. I can't skip this. There's no way to skip this. There's no way to skip what's going on. <laughs> This is like playing with a Ouija board, dude. My house is possessed now. What is what is this? It's like a cult initiation. Get get me out of here. This is literally like a four minute fucking cutscene. What is this? Skip. That's it. Okay, so Z Z shoots. So what's the goal here? Killing these asteroids? No. Nope. Okay. 
One, I guess once they get to a certain a certain size, you can't kill them anymore. They just they just hurt you. That's kind of dumb. I can't. You can't break them. You just got to avoid them. What is that? Is that a mouth? Oh, I think I died. I'm just gonna go towards this big arrow. I don't know. Do I do I attack this thing? What am I? What do I do? I'm just gonna keep going towards this big arrow. Yeah, it looks like it leads me up to this mouth thing. Do I do I attack? Do I attack? What am I? What? Oh, there's another ship. Do I fight it? All right, I blew it up. Can I grab these or what? what? I have no guys. I don't know what's happening right now. Oh, another ship. Okay. Um, another ship. Well, more asteroids. Did I get the knowledge that I need? I don't I don't know what's going on, dude. It's like every book I get, the text changes, but nothing else happens. All right. What? <laughs> well, my my uh, my memory card <laughs> filled up on my camera. So uh, if you guys were looking forward to seeing my face in the rest of this video, you're going to have to just uh, suck a fart. It looks like we're only going to get to play three of these games because number three on the list is Airport Simulator 2014. Now, this game has horrible reviews, but the plan is to play this in an upcoming video. So I'm actually going to skip over this one as well. Well, it sucks to suck. Number two is Flat Out 3. And I, I, I'm super honored just to be able to have this in my Steam library. This game is like life-changing stuff, seriously. As you can tell by the loading screen graphics, this is definitely a technological marvel of the time. You have Walmart Scarlett Johansson here up against a, 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 a nameless car. It's absolutely beautiful. This game came out in 2011, and it's really, like, it changed the entire racing game scene, okay? While it is a racing game with a racing mode, I am going to be starting by playing Big Battle, because I'd just like to show you guys what we're actually working with here. Before we get to the point of epic gamer battle time, I just wanted to take a second as well to go over every single one of the characters that graces this wonderful game. As you can see, we have Justin Case, and now he's a serial killer. A game like this kind of takes on its own lore, you know? It just, it's a really deeply involved game with insane character progression. They definitely didn't just make up fake storylines for each of the 37 characters that the game has. No, sir, they didn't. One of my favorite characters is 34 Rupias. Now, his bio says that he's a rapper with 225 pounds of rock-hard pure muscle. It says he's known to wrestle his way out of the wreckage of his car, only to continue a destruction derby on foot. A rapper with 225 pounds of rock-hard pure muscle. There's a period after rock-hard. That doesn't make a lot of sense. You know what else doesn't make a lot of sense? Look at this man's arms. You call that rock hard muscle? My dude is built like a pool noodle. Like he is completely straight and then his arms are two little fat nubs. Like what is this man? Like wh what are those tattoos? Look at his tribal tattoos. That's some Dwayne Johnson meets Mike Tyson type shit, bro. Miss me with it. Today guys, I'm gonna be pleasuring you. <laughs> That's it, I'm gonna be pleasuring you. You guys have the pleasure of going on this adventure with me as we play with the character Bob Slayer. Now Bob is in it for the carnage. He doesn't care about winning, high scores, or any of that nonsense. This, this game is really whack dude other than the stunningly realistic graphics i just wanted to point out in this battle mode that there is a little bit of an unfair bias with you and your opponents the battle mode is like a large demolition derby but the thing is with the cars they're a little bit too aggressive towards the player it seems to be a lot like the early grand theft auto ai but these cars will literally just chase after you until they wreck you and they won't stop targeting you regardless of who is near them a good show of this is is right here ready if you look on the radar each little arrow is one of the cars and if i at the very start of the race immediately go into this back ravine here you'd think that nobody would see me or want to bother with me until the end of the demolition derby however i'm going to speed this up and we're just going to wait and see what happens here as you can see over a very short period of time a lot of these cars stack up against you and you can actually kill half the lobby just by sitting in a back corner. This game is mechanically just flawless. This is beautiful. But wait, there's more. There's also a stuntman mode where you drive into things and try and cause as much carnage and destruction as possible. This mode has really good camera angles. This is very functional. I really like this. Now it says press the eject key to continue, but for the life of me, I couldn't figure out where the eject key was. And since there's no controls option, uh, it was next to impossible. But the point of the stuntman game mode is to drive up towards an object, eject from your car, and try and land as close to the target as possible. And this map is called Windmill, and surprisingly enough, there is a windmill, but the point of this game isn't to touch the windmill, it's to get to the side of it and land on the target. This game mode is laughably bad, dude. Like, it's 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 absolutely horrible. The camera angles are so awful, I restart more than I'm playing, and I can't see what I'm doing until I land. So timing your crashes properly is actually quite a difficult task. The one time I did get it right, the windmill hit me, and I fell right 
right onto the ground, and that was the end of my stuntman career. After about 16 hours of recording time, I finally hit the target, and it crumbled like I like I, I don't like I don't even know. Why did that target crumble like that? That shouldn't have happened. Finally, we're in the race mode. We're excited to try out all of the dynamic maps that this game has to offer. Maps like Uranium Mine 17C and Detroit. <laughs> Just Detroit. Ladies and gentlemen, we are out here today on race day in the beautiful rundown Detroit suburbs. It's going to be a heck of a race today as all of the racers line up in their very expensive exotic sports cars that probably would have gotten stolen if they were parked for more than two minutes in a neighborhood like this. The racing mode is the main point of this game, so you'd think it would be the most polished part. It's not. I'm not even really sure where to begin with this one because there are so many issues with it that it's really just hard to talk about them all in a reasonable amount of time. The first thing I notice is that you have pretty much infinite boost, but it's still pretty hard, if not impossible, to win this game in first place. I, w like, what was that? What just happened? I'm stuck on a tree right now, and I'm not even, like, touching the tree. I'm on the side of this tree. Let me hold down. I, I, I can't reverse. That was, it wouldn't let me reverse. This is a wonderful time. The main issue that I have with this race mode is that these cars are just not stuck to the ground. The driving mechanics in this are very slippery. It's like I'm driving on ice. It's like you're driving on ice constantly. No matter how fast or slow you're going, it always seems like the opponents are just a little bit faster. Now, something you guys may not know about me, I am very, very, very good at racing games. I, I really always have been. I'm not good at this game. I wouldn't say that I'm bad at this game, but I would say that every single NPC that plays it is a lot better. I also think that no matter what car you pick, the NPCs are evenly matched because they always seem to be less than a second behind me. The second I tap into anything, no matter what position I'm in, I instantly get bumped back like six places because everybody is that close together. As you can see, I was in second and I messed up on my corner. Never mind, I guess they got farther behind. I'm an asshole. And I flipped over. What a great time. See, I botched one corner and now I'm in sixth place. Another odd thing about this game is that it uses the arrow keys for car control, which is just not something that modern PC games do. And the most odd thing hands down about the race mode is that if you hold down your infinite boost and you crash into enough stuff, your car just becomes a glitchy mess. My final score for this game is a 10 out of 10. It's a perfect masterpiece. No, no, it's not. <laughs> I think that for a game that's 99 cents, you're kind of getting what you paid for. However, that's 90% off. This game cost $10, dude. This isn't even a game that I would download to my phone to play while I was taking a dump, dude. I, like, th th it's just, it's not even worth a dollar. It really isn't. The fact that four of my friends already own this game is absolutely disgusting. And the fact that this game has 279 positive reviews just makes me really sad. The final game on this list is called Animal Jam Play Wild, and it's actually a pretty new game. My main concern for this game is that it did just come out. So what is making this game so bad that it's the number one worst rated game on Steam so soon after its release date? That just doesn't make a lot of sense to me. The game looks like it's a basically Club Penguin, but with tower defense and unicorn I, I don't think it's going to be a good game, but I don't know if it's going to be the worst game. I mean, it is the worst game, so I guess it's it's already the worst game. Never, never mind. All right, we're going to start new. I don't have an account. Do I pick... Is this my animal? Is this like a login animal, or is this my actual animal? Because this wolf knows karate. Or is he dancing? Is that, is that a Fortnite dance? This wolf knows the Fortnite default dance, so that's comforting. I can create a name out of, uh, out of these, these preset names okay so my name is gonna be awesome smelly feet and i am a wolf why am why am i bunny no i'm i'm a wolf brother here we go shop for new clothes play games this is what i this is what life's all about boys who is this glowing arctic koala what's up brother you looking good you got some wings and stuff that's wow i'm genuinely excited to play club penguin right now let's go club penguin 2 let's see what do we got game there we go game painting oh i can i can just paint can i just paint whatever i want i can oh wow listen to that sound guys guys i'm, I'm gonna say it i'm gonna say it that's what good puss <coughs> Okay, so I'm playing a claw game now. I gotta pay five gems to play this game, I guess. So hopefully I can win something neato. Um, how, do, how do I know where my claw is? How do I know where these animals are in proximity to my claw? Can I get the monkey? Will it give me the mon- Nope, I guess I'm not that far forward. I don't- What? 
Did I win? Oh, I won. I won a golden monkey. That was that was a waste of money. Ooh, wait, no, come back. That kid wanted to play checkers. Should I own a seven-year-old in checkers? Where'd he go? Get out of here. This looks like the spot, man. What can I play with friends in here? Join me at Jama Derby. Join me. Somebody play Jama Derby with me. I don't know what I don't know what this is, but somebody play it with me, dude. Come on, man. Come on, simple spine shadow. Ah! <laughs> Okay, I'm just an innocent little gray wolf out here trying to play Jama Derby and he just ate my ass That's not cool. There's got to be something to do in this game. Honestly, just for the environment It's already better than that stupid flat-out car game. I don't what select a level did somebody select the game with me Here we go waiting on the other jammer. How do I play this? How, do, how does this game work? Oh, do we just like jump over stuff? How does it work? Why is he ahead? Why? How did he get ahead? Oh, you can use carrot boots. Gotcha. So it's it's a horse race. Well, suck a fart, 12 year old boy. Oh no, he took the lead again. No, 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 no. Come on, there it is. I this is not that exciting. I'm tr I'm really trying to like ham this up and make this fun, but I'm playing a game with a ten year old right now. That was I I was I was expected to win and I did. Stupid ten year old. Quickly draw the shapes above the phantoms before they reach you. Am I gonna get abducted by ghosts in this game? Oh, okay. So each one of these little Pokemon unknown things has lines above its head, and I just have to draw the lines that are above its head, and then I win. This is pretty stupid, to be honest. I guess let's see how far I can make it before I get off this atrocity. Thing with this is they all have the same shapes. I can just draw lines and circles and just kill them all. I don't even have to look. It's ridiculous. You have to be born with like half a brain to not be good at this game. Like it's literally drawing the most simple mathematic shapes. This is the dumbest thing I've ever done in my whole life. I'm wasting all of my time and it's all at the sake of entertainment for you guys. You better appreciate this. Anyways, I toppled the government. Now I'm gonna kill a king. Uh, let's finish this up here. Here we go. I'm fighting the king. Oh, sorry, king. You're dead. Haha, -ha, you... Oh, you're just hiding behind a chair. This is fucking stupid. Here we go. Ready? I'm gonna fight the dumb octopus king again. Here we go. That's a waste of time. You know, while I'm doing this, you guys should join my discord. That's what you should do. Uh, really? Like, what? what is this game? You're willing to watch me play this stupid game, but you're not willing to join my discord? Come on, man. I, this is the part I don't get. I can just do random shapes and they all die. Oh, I killed the king. I stole his crown and I became a dictator. That's enough of that. All right, if you guys want to become my best friend on this game, uh, my name is Awesome Smelly Feet and you can add me. Uh, otherwise, we're going to hop off this bitch and we're going to go back to the Steam platform and talk about what we just learned. While I was in the process of playing this game, somebody messaged me and they told me the reason this game is so poorly rated is because of Quackity HQ. I guess recently he played this game and he got himself banned so his fans i guess made this the worst game on steam good for you guys good for good for you <laughs> anyways that's gonna be it for this video guys i d i think that honestly this flat out game is probably the most authentic worst game on steam so i did still play it i hope you guys enjoyed this video it was a little bit different than my normal ones I i'm i'm messing around with the structuring so let me know if you like this video more or less than the previous one if you click on the i card there will be a survey for it i'm very interested in hearing your feedback so if you can leave constructive criticism in the comments doesn't have to be positive i'd really appreciate that as well as that guys if you could click that sponsor link it really helps me out it, it seriously really really does if you just you know mess around with that site for a little bit get a get a quick little cash out buy yourself something nice i'd appreciate it as well thank you so much for watching thank you for making it to the end i'm trying to upload more i'm trying i really am i'll see you guys in the next video have a great day